13 research scientists and engineers have been recognized for their contributions. They received National Science and Technology Awards and the Young Scientist Awards from Defense Minister Teo Chi Hien. Bridget C. met some of the winners. Top honors went to Professor Su Guaning for 30 years of contribution to defense science. He was instrumental in setting up the Defense Science Organization, now the largest local R&D institute here. Meanwhile, an NTU team led by Professor Tay Ju Hua won the National Technology Award for coming up with an efficient way of treating wastewater. The team found a way to pack millions of microorganisms into granules to treat wastewater. They can treat wastewater more efficiently and more quickly than conventional systems. Our granules are able to treat wastewaters containing high concentrations of toxic chemicals. One of the three Young Scientist Award winners is 31-year-old Dr. Adrian Shock. His research fuses 3D computer images with the real world in real time. The National Library has asked his team to create magic books so users can interact with the characters. Well, kids, you should be able to play these magic books by the end of the year at the National Library. But first, I'm going to see how easy it is to plant a tree in Hello Kitty's garden. So here goes. Well, one thing that we've been uh, developing for the Singapore Army is that currently um, when, when there's a battlefield or you know, wars going on, what happens is that commanders will sit around what's called a, a table where they have sand, right? And they kind of like pick up like plastic plastic objects and put them into the sand and they kind of plan the, the battle. So, but with the mixed reality, it's actually create a 3D battlefield which comes onto your table and then you can just pick up and place, you know, virtual tanks, virtual aeroplanes, virtual soldiers and put them on there as if they were physical objects. His team is also developing headsets using mixed reality to guide soldiers in combat. <laughs> 